Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf Six, and welcome to another episode of Eric Meal Time. Today I'm being joined by the talented David Ramsey. We're longtime performing friends. I have been around for a while. Uh, I live in Yokohama, Japan. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York, and uh, it's good to see you, Eric. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you for a while. Yeah. Thanks for asking me to join you on Meal Time. I'm hungry, so. Absolutely. So these two places behind us, in particular. You were noting something about the signs. One funny thing you find when you come to Chinatown is that every, not every store, but lots of stores have a big sign up that says that they have the world champion of whatever it is that they make. Yeah, so this is the duck guy. He's the world right. champion of duck. And this, these, these guys are Peking all the world. Duck. Yeah, Peking duck. And these guys are the world champions of what, maybe dumplings. I guess so. Yeah. But maybe we should go over there and see if yeah, it's, let's go. See if it's <laughs> see if they're as really good as, as they say it is. Yeah. These are the miku or meat dumplings right here. Yeah. A couple different sizes. The big size one is 350 yen. It's about three dollars. The little one, I think, 100 yen, a buck. Yeah, like, dollar a piece. Buck a piece. Yeah. Let's start small, cause uh, yeah, we're gonna eat a lot. I think to wait two, three minutes is better. Yeah, it's too hot now. You know, I think. What do you think? Yeah, I think so, it's too hot. So I asked her if you could eat them right away or or not, and she said, yeah, you can eat them right away. Let's go for so, it. Yeah. I'm thinking too hot. Thanks, Eric. My pleasure. It's good to see you. All right, going in for the one dollar Nikuman dumplings. Right. It's alright for 100 yen. It's like a meatball yeah. inside. Soft meatball. There might be some uh, some onions in it. Pretty basic. We didn't do it here, but I like to put the <coughs> karashi, what they call karashi um, on top of it. Spices. It's like a yellow mustard. Oh, yellow mustard. Yeah, but it's, it's different than the mustard like we would use in the States. You just put a little bit. Right. It's actually really spicy. To be honest, I, I think I've had better at the convenience store in Japan. I don't know what I was going to say there. You know, you go to the Seven Eleven. We, don't we call it like it is here on on the uh, oh, Eric yeah, Meal Time? Like yeah. So don't don't be bashful okay. to you know tell the truth. Now well, that's what they expect. Well, I wasn't not telling the truth. It was it was all yeah. right. But this whole Seikai champion, world champion, I don't know if I'm buying it. We'll see. To be continued. There's a lot more of these that we're going to uh, what? Sample cool. and see. Yeah. Uh, have you had Peking duck before? You probably have. I have. Yeah. Yeah. And is, does this look like typical Peking duck? Street Peking duck? Well, I mean, it's a delicacy, right? Peking duck. It's supposed to be really expensive, right? The Peking duck I had was just, I guess, the skin part, right? Just the skin but, part, right. But looking into this, I see some There's meat. meat so yeah, right, it's different. I think it's a little different than what I'm used to. It smells amazing. The sauce on it. Oh my gosh. All kinds of things in there. It's in a super thick sauce too, like a tangy sauce. Yeah. I like that. Bargain for two bucks. It's not the real pecking duck. No, it's not. Pecking duck is just the duck skin yeah. wrapped in this. Yeah. Simple. This is a whole nother animal. A couple of years ago, <laughs> I went to uh, to Hong Kong for a gig. Mm -hmm. And I went to the, the place, I don't remember the name of it, but the, the place to go for pecking duck in Hong Kong, and that was fantastic. Was it? Yeah. So there's no meat, it's just the skin. Yeah. And it's wrapped in the what we're having here. Yep. And that's it. It's pretty simple, isn't it? Plus, the, I don't know, the, the green vegetables that we put in it were, this is completely different. Different. This is just salad. Yeah. But what do you expect for two bucks, you yeah. know? It's street food. Yeah. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah, it's good. There you go. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, so we've arrived at the next shop. What, what do they sell here, David? They sell uh, Shrompo. Shrompo. Yeah. There's a dim sum in. Yeah, I guess that I would. Know, it's a, I guess it would be dim sum. Different type of dumpling. It's got got the hot soup inside. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's go try. Well, which one looks good to you? <clears throat> I like the green one. The color in the middle. It wouldn't be wasabi though, would it? It's just Chinese. What it is. So they, they're heavy. The way the way it is heavy. They're, they've got soup in them, all of them, right? So you have to be careful that it doesn't squirt out all over the place. I've had that problem before. Okay, I'm gonna go right for the green. Dim sum. What's the how do you pronounce this in Chinese again? Shorompo. 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 You better eat it over there. That's hot. It's gonna squirt out all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> for the video, that's just for you guys. Oh my, we, you don't get any napkins either. <sighs> oh, it's way too hot. Yeah? <clears throat> the soup, yeah. There's the inside. It looks like pork. There's some chives in there. The soup is piping. Yeah, it's piping hot. hot. <clears throat> piping hot. Yeah. If you guys come here, definitely wait a few minutes before you get into these. So the bottom part is really sort of hard, right? It's, it's crunchy. Cr yeah. yeah, crusted. And the top is really soft. Kind of interesting. <laughs> and the soup is pouring out all over the place. All right, I'm going in for one more. Yes. Question is, does it squirt? It's squirts. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> you? There? Same time. No. Okay. It happens to everybody. Now, now I don't feel so bad. How would you rate the meat? Is it all right? It's all right. That's about it. It's all right. Yeah, I think we're going to need to go to a restaurant, actually. You know a place, I, I, I've I, heard. I do, yeah. Yeah. And it's, would you say, quality yeah, food? Definitely quality, yeah. Would it be like Seikai Champion level? Like yeah, the best definitely. in the world? Actually, they have a Michelin star. They have a Michelin star. That makes it official. I often come to Chinatown, and one of my f favorite places to eat in Chinatown is this noodle shop right here. All right. Yeah. And they have uh, what they call Tan Tan Men. This is Tan Tan Men. And it's kind of a spicy soup with noodles in it and some, you know, minced meat on oh, top. Oh, that looks so good. And these gyoza over here, the, the dumplings, this place is fantastic. Okay, let's go in. Yeah, but we're not, go we're not going here today. We're not going here? <laughs> no, we're going to go. You know, you know a better place? Yeah, I know. We're going to go somewhere else today. If you come to Chinatown and you want to eat a really good bowl of noodles, I would recommend coming here. Maybe we'll try that place next time. Put it down in the comments if you guys uh, want to try the noodles. There's an aroma coming out the door. Mm. Smell that? What is that? That's the smell of wow. good food. Wow. Mm. Looks good. So you ready to go in? I'm ready to go in. The first thing I want you to try is the dumpling. Okay. Why, because they're hot? Just because that's what this place is famous for. Okay, going in. And you gotta put it in the sauce. Okay. Really like, sauce it up. Okay. It feels really soft to the touch. Okay. Piping hot. I hope you like it. <laughs> the sauce smells a bit sweet. Is it like a peanut sauce? <laughs> oh my. Is that good or what? So much flavor. Mmm. Blows away the street food. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like everything's handmade here. Well, that's why they have a Michelin, a Michelin star. Oh goodness. The first time I came here, I didn't expect it would be as good as it was. The meat is, I think it's a pork, but the green's in there. It's, uh, there's mm. garlic, mm. onions. 
I think there's like coconut. <laughs> coconut. Yeah, yeah there's, it's, it's sweet. Yeah, maybe it's coconut. Could be maybe coconut or coconut. peanut. Mm. Might just be the best dumpling I've ever had. I, for me, it's definitely the best dumpling I've ever had. Yeah, it looks like a lot of heart and soul goes into making these. You like your meat dishes, don't you? I do. I like my meat. <laughs> this is the uh, chicken with cashew nuts. Oh, it looks amazing. And it's uh, a little spicy, yeah. Just a little? I've eaten a lot of chicken and cashew nuts, but... It's a popular dish, isn't it? Chicken cashew nuts. Yeah. Ooh. <clears throat> Got some kick to it, doesn't it? Yeah. Because we ordered it extra spicy. <laughs> It's stir fry, isn't it? You know how they make this? I don't know how to make it. Well, whatever, it's delicious. Hey, it's stir fried, yeah. Mm -hmm. Bite sized pieces. <laughs> can you handle the spice of it? Or? I can. Yeah. I can. I like that spice. Do we know what these are called? Is it Puchin Sai? Hmm? Puchin Sai? Chin Tai. I wasn't even close. So you make green smoothies what? Mostly every every day, pretty much. Every morning. Every morning. Yeah. I do green smoothies about four times a week. So. You think every morning is too much? <clears throat> no. No. How much quantity are you drinking? I drink half a Vitamix. Half of the big, half of the big Vitamix. Yeah. That's like a liter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, drink, no wonder you're getting filled up. I drink a liter. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's bad for you. Yeah. Yeah. And how long have you been doing this? A mm, couple months. A couple months. Do, yeah. you, do you notice any um, difference good. in how you feel? I feel good. Really? Yeah. Like energy? Yeah, I feel good. Huh. There you go. So I've been doing it probably five years. Not every day. I do about four days a week. Mm. And yeah, I feel much better. I'm never tired during the day. Mm. Don't I don't feel like I need coffee in the afternoon anymore like I used to sometimes. Mm. So yeah, smoothie in the morning is good. Green smoothie. I need my coffee. Well, I do in the morning. So I have coffee. I have coffee in the morning, huh? coffee in the afternoon, and coffee at night. Coffee, coffee, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> I just love coffee. <laughs> These greens are good. They are good. Crunchy. And Chinese food is just that you know the sauces are so delightful. The how, spices and the sauces. How many people? How many of the people that watch your videos are in Japan, or how many of them are out of Japan? Most are out of Japan. That's a good uh -huh. question. Yeah, I don't get asked that often. Um, only about five percent of the viewers are Japanese, mm -hmm. and then the, it's like forty percent is America. Uh huh. Maybe ten percent Canada, ten percent Australia. 10% UK, something like that. Mostly the Western countries. Mm -hmm. And then um, some other countries in Europe. How many, how many of the people that watch your videos end up coming to visit Japan? A lot, I think. Yeah? I get a lot of comments of people saying that they want to come to Japan, specifically mm -hmm. to try food, mm -hmm. to travel around. Um, um, I would definitely recommend coming to Japan. It is a very interesting and cool place and very safe and very peaceful and people are really helpful and friendly it's a great country well there you go you guys have heard it from a veteran mm. anything else you'd like to say I think you just said it it's pretty hard to top that come to Japan come to Japan <laughs> you know so, so it's customary on the uh, Eric Mealtime series to uh -huh. rate the meal uh -huh. after we're finished. And okay. the rating is an overall rating, so combined, this combined with sort of the street food environment. Not necessarily the taste of the food on the street, but mm. <clears throat> the environment of Chinatown and the food for the restaurant here. Mm. And the ranking is, it's from a one to six star. Uh -huh. One being the worst is a yuck, I call it, and a three being a nom nom nom, which is just out of this world. Uh -huh. So, where do you care to, uh, to rate it? Well, this particular meal that we're eating right now, I'd give it a five. A five? Yeah, I would. Come. A five. And the street food, eh. maybe a, a one. A one. <laughs> See, I like David because he, he he calls it like it is. So is is there a, a better? Is there a six that 
Uh, I'm sure is there, there is. Are there six that exist in, in Chinatown for Chinese food? I'm sure there is. But we're going to have to go We're going to have to find it. See, that's, yeah. yeah, there's always the search. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, this place was delicious. Um, I, I think I'd have to go full six. I've never had Chinese food quite like this. Mm. And I've eaten quite a bit of Chinese food in Japan, but these just these three dishes that we had here alone were amazing. So I want to mm. thank you, David, for mm. bringing me to this place. Mm. And I would definitely come here again. Mm. So since I give it a perfect six ranking, that means I'm giving my three to get some snack packs. So if you guys aren't familiar, to get some snack pack is something that I assemble with snacks and goodies from Japan. And the link is right up here. You can see what's inside it. So all you have to do for your chance to win is leave a comment down below. And I will announce the winner in the next video. So cheers, David. Later. See you guys in the next one. Hey, thanks for making it all the way to my end screen. So now what? Well, click around, watch a few more videos. How about checking out my Patreon account? Links are all right there on the screen. Cheers and beers, team. Get some.